to allrecipes.com. It can take more than five hours to prepare and cook a stuffed turkey. That doesn't include the additional hours needed to prep side dishes that also need precious time in the oven. With so much time spent in the kitchen to create the perfect meal, the approaching holiday can seem a little daunting. Chef Alex Barnaschelli, though, has a few tips and tricks for quick and easy apps and desserts. Alex, we're so glad you're here. Uh, give us your favorite thing to do with your family around Thanksgiving. My favorite thing to do is be ready with my desserts and appetizers so that I can actually enjoy my family and be happy that I invited them. I think managing a menu and setting your table in advance can make such a huge difference. I personally love to cook, so I like to spend that time in the kitchen cooking, but for me, Thanksgiving Day is should be ma majorly about finishing the stuffing, the gravy, and the turkey, and then just sitting down to enjoy the fruits of my labors. To do that, I love to pre-make some great snacks. Here I have some flatbreads. You could make them, by the way, on a cauliflower crust if gluten is an issue. And this is just a wonderful cheese pesto with toasted walnuts on top for crunch. You won't miss the pepperoni or the sausage. The walnuts really serve that kind of rich, meaty purpose. You could also vary it by using pecans, which I love just as much. Um, some little goat cheese bites, always a crowd pleaser. If you just bake off a tray of pigs in a blanket and serve some little balls of goat cheese rolled in toasted walnuts with herbs on top, I mean, that is just the one-two way to begin, I think, a Thanksgiving meal. For dessert, I like to do something with my daughter Ava, an activity. So this is a white chocolate bark, which is so simple to make. You just melt chocolate, dark or light, pour it out on a, tr on a sheet tray um, and stud it with pecans, walnuts, dried cranberries. You could use golden raisins, toffee, other chocolate chips and let it cool. And then you break it into pieces. You could either put that out with your pies or bag up a little fun holiday treat for people to take home with them. I know after all that food, I love a little giveaway that kind of lets the meal linger in your memory when you get home. And this year, my favorite pie, a chocolate brownie pecan pie. Chocolate is just underrepresented at the Thanksgiving table. We go pumpkin, sweet potato, apple. Um, I love to showcase pecans mixed in a chocolate brownie filling and baked in a pie. Such a winner. And different, you know, a little bit different from what you usually do. I like that. All right, where do we go for more information from you? Maybe get some recipes. You can enjoy all the recipes from my partnership with Fisher Nuts on their website, fishernuts.com, or on Instagram, Fisher Nuts Brand. You can check out lots of cool visuals um, and enjoy some of my recipes. Make your holiday easier, I hope. Well, Chef, thanks so much for hanging out with us today. Happy holidays to you. Too. Stick around.